Is it this one becomes a bell? Water, smoke, evaporated bone, dead brain transfigured. This is the steampunk. Storm's gone. Down to earth. Friendly bipolar hour. Steampunk down to earth. Friendly bipolar hour. Close enough for 8:30. Oh, there we are. Let me get this set uh, real quick. Yeah, there we go. A little higher. You can see the. Oops. See the creature from the black lagoon. There we go. There. You can see we added a uh, new uh, new. Uh, Backdrop behind us, the painting. It was uh, in the house here, done by the sister of the landlord here, I believe. Not mistaken. So, welcome to the steampunk down to earth friendly bipolar hour. And I guess we'll call this episode 06. And tonight we are going to talk about. Let's get the window open up. Well, I was going through Reddit the other day and uh, discovered a little news story that came out of Poland. About this church called the Church of. Yeah. Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. And uh, they had a, a court case where the Supreme Court there ruled in the country of Poland that the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster is indeed a valid religion. Apparently, the Catholics don't want it to be a religion. And, uh, this is our website, so, and that's a, uh, one of the things they do do is they do these Kiva loans, which I was kind of interested in. They take donations over the internet, and uh, if you become a member of the church of the flying spaghetti monster, you are called a Pastafarian, which I thought was pretty neat. But uh, they have done micro lending to this site called Kiva, and they're the top lending religious congregation on Kiva, uh, more so than Buddhists, Catholics, Muslims, and the Mormons. And uh, I guess they've been in a friendly competition with the Mormons for years. So I guess they do do some good, even though. They have no dog, uh, uh, no book to read, uh, no oath to subscribe to. Uh, that's it. You know. So, I was fascinated by the concept. You know. 
church that goes against everything uh, about church. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put my glasses on. I'm going to make coffee tonight instead of uh, get a couple of drinks before 11 to 5. Went down and saw 11 to 5 with my baby Jaleesa. And uh, live at 5 was pretty neat. It's just a young gentleman playing, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah. Johnson, uh, Johnson Boogie Long, and uh, uh, wasn't dressed like that today, but uh, he definitely played that same red guitar. But, uh, brought up in a Southern Baptist community, picked the guitar at age six. Age 14, I schooled a tour with the local legends Henry Turner Jr. and Flavor. Toured with uh, Chris Duarte, Kenny Wayne Shepherd, oh, Kenny Wayne, <laughs> Tyree Neal, uh, and once David Dr. John, who's going to fly tomorrow to the Baton Rouge Blues Festival, he's the headliner. Played Gilbert Mule, Kenny Neal, Larry Garner, Henry Gray, Little Ray Neal, Lou Marini of the Blues Brothers Band. So, uh, yeah, we watched this first set, and then uh, I kind of get turned off when uh, Mayor Holden comes around. So, uh, but, uh, very exciting. But, uh, they just started the Live at Five series back up uh, last week. I saw the TVs. Total color game. Uh, but this guy, uh, this guy today, he, uh, he played a couple covers and some original tunes. He played a good version of ZZ Top's uh, Just Got Baby Day. Got me a pocket full of change. So, let's um, go back and look at this uh, Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster some more. So in order to uh, join, if you would like to join, it's very simple. Go to uh, www.venganza, B-E-N-G-A-N-Z-A dot org, venganza dot org. And look, right here is a link to join us. I guess we're going to have to upgrade this one with the hardware. You all right down there? All right. So every time I bail out of the website, it brings up this webcam controller. Well, I guess I can zoom back out now, huh? Can you do that? Let me zoom back. Oh, look at that. Huh. All right. Let's see if the spaghetti, find spaghetti monster. Goes. Okay, so you want to be a pastafarian? Great. Consider yourself a member. It's that simple. Isn't that beautiful? No hoops to jump through. You don't need to pay anything. All you, all you want to do is spread the word. Can I be a member if I don't literally believe in the flying spaghetti monster? Yes, you can. It's the same reason that many and other religions don't literally put their scripture. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Oh, let's get back up. Oh, 
Is it going to work? All right. Hello. All right. Uh, welcome back to the Steampunk Down to Earth. Friendly Bipolar Hour. Episode 006. B because uh, the computer completely crashed. It completely crashed. It's got a little bit higher. Okay, let's try that. Yes, I was trying to load another page on the website for the. Search of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. And all the windows reduced. I thought they reduced to the taskbar and they just completely disappeared and closed. So I guess it technically it wasn't really a crash because nothing locked up and no window of warnings popped up and it just closed on its own. The Google Hangouts window that I'm looking at here and, and the web, website. So, We'll do this for a few more minutes. So let's try here. So can I? So let's try this. Let's go back to. Let's go back to the independent. And let's see if we can do this. This original story I found, Mastafarians rejoice as Turk to the Flying Spaghetti Monsters, granted permission to register as a religion in Poland. And I guess it, I was incorrect and it wasn't the Polish uh, Supreme Court, it was a, a court, a jurisdictional court in Warsaw. Here's a photograph of it from outside the courthouse. And one of the prisoners. Warsaw hearing overturns previous ruling as Pastafarians chant pasta, pasta, pasta outside the court. All right. And this story is from. Wow, well, it says today. But oh, from the 9th of April. All right. So, yeah. And it showed up in the red feed, so. <laughs> January Apostle Fire and Minister Christopher Schaefer was sworn into the Pomfret New York Town Council this week with a colander on his head throughout the ceremony to represent his unique religious beliefs. Well, let's take a look at this. I think there's, I think there's a photograph of him there. So let's see if he opens up the as a movement, the Pastafarianism parodies orthodox religion and opposes the teaching of creationism and intelligent design. For example, prayers end with the word ramen instead of amen, a nod to Japanese noodles. That's beautiful. According to the Flying Spaghetti Monsters website, the church existed in secrecy until 2005 in the publication of a letter to the Kansas School Board, complete with a drawing of the Spaghetti Monster. <laughs> Insist they're a real religion, this is real as any other religion. The fathers believe that pirates were the original Pastafarians and were peaceful explorers, and it was due to Christian misinformation they have an image of outcast criminals today. <laughs> Beautiful. So there you go. Pastafarians. Amazing, huh? All we do is this, we should just reduce this down to the taskbar and it should switch back to me. Yeah, it, it, oh, it took a moment, but. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's a religion as much as any other religion, except they have no dogma, and, you know, really no real rules that anyone can join. I guess I have to get me a colander now, huh? 
Uh, so what else? So, oh, Mars was in opposition this week. Uh, uh, with the uh, Sun, you know, Earth, and Mars all lined up in a, you know, I guess, some kind of straight line. Uh, if Mars was bright the other night in the southeastern sky. But Mars was uh, very, very visible to the naked eye. And the uh, moon's getting almost full. So we decided to drink some coffee tonight instead of uh, I had a couple of drinks for, for a lot of five dollar pound dollars. Local pub or local bar, go to occasionally. So if you're out and about around two o'clock tomorrow, uh, this one hound dogs open up, say so uh, two dollar uh, Bloody Marys. You want to double it's four bucks but uh, I'm gonna stop and have one before I go down and see Becca Babbins band uh, the Wilder James yes Wilder James are playing down at the Mountain Rouge Blues Festival on uh, one of the little stages of I've, I've been looking for a map to, of the venue but the Mountain Rouge Blues Fest uh, website is Facebook page has got stuff from last year on it. So here, oh, here he is getting sworn into the town council. Fantastic. Well, I don't know who's going to do that group this time. The website's hard to navigate, but uh, I'll see. Here, here's the Apostafarian Minister Christopher Schaefer sworn into the town council. There he is, uh, don't have his hand on the Bible, but he's uh, taking an oath for his office. So, you know, the town council with his <laughs> tongue on his head. Beautiful. Oh, you can see that. Get your box out. Right. Really seated. Tom Fret, town council member Christopher Schaefer. Sets oath of office. Read to him by town clerk Allison Dispatch. Schaefer wore a colander, which is associated with a unique religious movement called the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. You know, oh, beautiful. You know, more power to him and uh, you know, see what kind of ideas he has uh, for this little tiny New York town. I'm from Amherst, Buffalo, New York, and I'm not sure where, where this town is. Palm Fred. Dunkirk. Okay. Dunkirk, New York. All right. I know what that is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Well, there's your Oscarians. Oh, you don't want to see that. Uh oh. See now. I want to. I don't want to. Uh, looks like a mallet here. Oh, it's our Facebook page, Steve Pump down there, and the Black Hole our Facebook page. And let's go look at the studio where we broadcast from. And this computer over here is to remind the world going on it and uh, Dogecoin alternating between the two. So we've got 47 world coin, and they were 8 cents a piece, and we're down to 4 cents a piece, so nothing. And on Dogecoin, I got over 2,000 of them. Over 2,000 of them is worth a, about a buck. So, Bitcoin's down about 450. Coin. See, and this is the Church of the Flying Speeding Monster Facebook page. That's kind of a neat uh, stained glass concept there. Very interesting. And yeah, it's an open, uh, open page. Anybody can join. Uh, there you go. Let me just click down here, join group. And there you go. Send a request. All right. That's that. So you do have a Facebook page. And of course, their website is www.vanganza.org. V-E-N-G-A-N-Z-A.org. 
in my sightings. See if sightings are more to that page. So when I crashed the last time, when I clicked on a page in here, when I tried to go from join us to another page, and basically you join them by clicking on the page and reading the page. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Much resent the E. coli bacteria that somebody made. Their science fair in Corvallis, Oregon. I believe the creature looks a lot like him, so the flying spaghetti monster is a he, a he, a him. According to Dr. Audrey. Oh, look at that. Man on the pan. Hey, boom. That's pretty old, eh? They'd steal that here in a heartbeat and try to scrap it somehow. Ten cents pound. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, the. These are them uh, bio, biometric or bio isometric. Yeah, isometric strips. I guess they call them. Yeah. Athletes wear. Oh, yeah. Sighting in the Yucatan of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Just in West Mexico, in a visual pattern. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sightings. All right. So, what about? What's that? Uh, from California. I guess we'll talk about that in a minute. For too long. Clive and Bundy and his 14 children out there in Nevada desert. They run off the. Having their cattle now being gathered up and taken. And they believe the cattle are being uh, uh, killed and, and buried in the back of out there. And I guess. I don't think I saw the video, but. Uh, Bureau of Land Management officers were tased a couple of people and threw a lady down on the ground. And they tried to stop the caravan with a dump truck that wrecked off from going out killing one cow. And when the son got arrested uh, like two days prior, trying to take video and pictures of them uh, allegedly killing cattle out there and said, This guy went about. Yeah. So there's around 900 head of cattle that they're going to gather up and they closed a 12,000 acre, 12,000 acres of public lands out there in the desert to protect the desert tortoise. But at the same time, they have a desert tortoise rescue center that the Bureau of Land Management runs. But because their funding is being cut, they're going to euthanize uh, uh, one report that was set up to 1,200 of these tortoises. They're just going to kill and bury out there. Because they uh, don't have the money to take care of them anymore. They got to this man's cow, man and his cow, off the land that his family has been using since 1877 when they were about to find. His rights predate, you know, anything that the Bureau of Land Management is saying. He believes in the state's rights and the rights of the county and the, and the use of the public land. And then the other issue that somebody else brought up was that there's uh, approximately 2,000 wild horses running out there that are doing. Uh, Considerably more damage to the environment, um, and there's no efforts to land them up at all. So, they're spending like $1.2 million on this operation to ground up this cattle. They got a, a huge camp set up out there in the desert. And I guess they swoop out of the hills of uh, 15 SUVs and, and then dump truck in the back of them. So, there you go. So a lot of people are worried that uh, it's going to turn into a shooting, shooting fight. Instead of just people with cell phones protesting. They're getting tased. And then here in Gonzales, Louisiana, um, it's kind of got buried in the news. Uh, there's some kind of uh, domestic disturbance. And uh, a gentleman that was part of the disturbance uh, ran down the end of the street and jumped into the bayou. This, this guy's been hanging around in this bayou since he's been a young man and apparently knows how to swim very well. And, and, and he drowned in chest deep water. And, uh, we had one or two witnesses possibly that 
he saw a police officer walking up from the water with a deployed taser in his hand. And this man was possibly tasered, you know, going into the water or hitting the water. And that's the reason why he drowned. So, at least that's what his family believes. The way on the autopsy results and see if there's any, you know, taser problems, marks in his body. I don't know about that taser. Mm -hmm. Left in lethal force for the compliance and shoot you in the back as you run away. Mm -hmm. They'll always catch you later, I guess. You know, they've got a helicopter and they have radios. They're going to catch you eventually. You know, not like he was armed and shooting at people running away, that he was an immediate threat. You know, Once he got in the water near the water, she just let him go. They'll always catch up to him. I don't know about this too much. Get my hand. But uh, there you go. South Louisiana, about to um, If you have a chance, I might see the Wilder James come on to Baton Rouge Blues Festival. It's free. Uh, sports and local bands and artists. We'll be down around there. First band goes on around noon. Deej, D E G E, first band. It's pretty talented. That news, that's just going to be fun. Let's see, let's do a search here. The uh, search. Baton Rouge. Blue Sussel, there it is. Boom. You can see the, the Facebook page has gone out of date. Must have updated it the other day. They had a huge banner up on the side of the back of the library there. Green open to the public. And evening with Brother Dees. Oh, so he's playing tonight somewhere. All right. So where is the link? Franklin Maine Photography. He just don't let's go on. Yeah, there's a banner. Head up in the back of the library. Very cool. So, where is the link? It's a website. For call. There. Alright. Let me get to the website here. There we go. Yeah. Too much scrolling to find a link. Line up. Yeah. Saturday, April 12th, I guess, is my 49th birthday. Well, as uh, Dan Letterman's birthday. Because you get really tired. Brother Deej and a brother at noon. I guess we're going to try to catch that. And then we'll come back to the house and have some uh, lasagna. And then we'll head down to Hound Dogs around 2. And then we're going to catch the Wilder James right here. Let's see if we got a link for that. Oh, oh. Seven. Oh. PDF. Yeah, let me show the PDF on there. Oh, yeah. And we can zoom it now. Okay, I'll we'll save the crisis. Makers, Trace, Tess Brunet, 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 Tess Brunet. There, now we can see. But well, I want to see the Wilder James at 3 o'clock. Uh, backstage at the Blues Fest lobby. So we got to find the map. So you got backstage at the Blues Fest OSC House Chambers, and then backstage at the Blues Fest OSC Senate Chambers. I don't know where that is. 
that's my soul stage. I guess the foundation stage would probably be the main stage over there where the new sculpture is. And my pen lining, of course, is uh, the load. It's, uh, it's not the load. Uh, Dr. John, I'm excited. He's going to be Dr. John at 825. So around 9.30, I guess. So it's early night, you know. It should be good weather. So come on out and enjoy. All right. Well, I guess it's all good. All right. Thanks for watching the steampunk down there. It's from the bipolar hour. And uh, hey, if you got something to say or got an idea, let's, uh, let's uh, have some coffee and talk about it. All right. Very good. Have a great day.